Hi, this is Dougie from ultimatewildguide.com. Today I'm going to share with you some little known facts about monks that will probably help you make a decision of whether you will level a monk to level 90 or not when Mr. Pandaria is released. The monk is a brand new class introduced to the new Mr. Pandaria expansion. Unfortunately, unlike the Death Knight, which can begin at level 55, the monk you have to begin at level 1. And I know this is a deal breaker for some people because Leveling a new character from level 1 to 90 can be very daunting. Because of this, Blizzard have given this class a very special treatment. Starting at level 20, as a monk you can complete a class quest in the Peak of Serenity. To get there, you can use a special teleport spell called the Zen Pilgrimage, available only to the monk class. Peak of Serenity is located at Kunlai Summit in Pandaria, and you should be taken directly to the quest giver. When you accept the very first quest, an NPC will give you a guided tour around the area. To complete the quest, you will need to go head to head with a master and defeat them as part of your monk training. Once you complete the quest, you will receive a rare quality item for your class and the best part of all, you will receive a 1 hour buff that will provide you with a 50% experience bonus. And after completing the first quest, you can unlock the daily quest which is the same as the class quest. And you can get the enlightenment buff from the daily quest as well. And this can stack up to 2 hours. With the daily quest, you are guaranteed a 1 hour 50% experience bonus per day. If you play an hour per day with your monk, this buff is pretty much permanent. But that's not the only thing you can get at Peak Serenity. Here you can find some awesome vendors that will sell you weapons for every spec and for every 10th level range. You can also buy some awesome food and drink for that extra stat bonus. So it's pretty clear that you are going to be able to level monks a lot faster than any other class from level 1. There are other ways to get experience bonus, which will stack with the enlightenment buff as well. An easy way is to get the fast track bonus, simply for being in a level 6 guild or above. And if you're a veteran player, you can collect some heirloom items, which can stack up to 40% bonus experience. And the last thing you will definitely need is Hard Mode Leveling Guide from Doogie Guides. Because the Hard Leveling Mode is designed for power levels with or without heirloom or other experience bonus. To take advantage of the experience bonus, you need to complete the highest level quest possible for your character. And Doogie Guide is the only leveling guide that lets you do that. A hard mode leveling guide will push you to the higher level zone to kill higher level NPC and complete higher level quests. And from our test, this can almost double your experience rate. Watch this quick video tutorial on how it works. Hi everyone, it's Doogie again and welcome to the tutorial for our guide suggest mode feature. You can find the guide suggest settings in the settings menu and in there you will see the leveling mode selection and also the guide suggest mode option. And inside the leveling guide selection menu there is also a handy suggest button and when you click this button you will hear a ding and the guide will instantly suggest and select a guide for you. For this example I'm a level 1 character and the guide suggests the starting zone for all. The leveling mode setting will give you three options of easy, normal and hard. The default mode is easy. Each setting will alter the level range for each guy. For example, in this starting zone, the easy mode leveling range is 1 to 7, the normal leveling range is 1 to 6, and the hard mode leveling range is 1 to 4. The lower level indicate the starting level of the guy and the higher level indicate the level you will reach before the guide will automatically suggest a new guide. For this example, we are in hard mode and with the level range of 1 to 4. When my character reached level 4, an automatic prompt will appear to remind you that you can skip ahead to the next guide. You can either select yes or no. Saying yes means the guide will skip ahead to the next guide even though we have only completed 67% of the guide and we're leaving the starting zone super early at level 4 instead of level 6 in normal mode or up to level 7 on easy. If you select no, you can keep using the current guide until you are ready and then you can click the suggest button again later and it will do the same thing. Our new guide is now Jurata for level 4 to 9 
This means we can use this guide until level 9 in hard mode. When we ding to level 9, the guide will prompt us again to skip ahead. The different leveling mode will progress at a different rate. For example, on hard mode, I have only completed 58% of the current guide, and I'm already skipping ahead to the next guide. While on normal mode, I won't be progressing to the next zone until I'm at least level 11. And when that happened, I completed about 83% of the guide. And on easy, I will have to finish the entire guide. The guide suggest feature will work for any level. For example, this character is level 62. On easy, the guide will suggest Hellfire Peninsula level 60 to 64. On normal, the guide will suggest Zangamash level 61 to 64. And on hard, the guide will suggest Terraka Forest for level 62 to 64. So that is three completely different zones for three different leveling settings. For a level 62 character, leveling in Hellfire Peninsula will be a lot easier than leveling in Terraka Forest because of the different levels of quests and monsters but your leveling rate will be slower. On easy mode, you'll be purposely held back to complete the easiest quest for your level. What makes it easy is that the quests and creatures that you have to kill will be slightly lower level than your character, but you will still get good experience from them. However, it will be the least amount of experience per hour gain, and you will level slower when compared to the normal or hard mode. But there will be less risk of dying, and it will be a lot easier for you to level. This is the mode that I would recommend if this is your first time playing World of Warcraft. The normal level is probably our most recommended leveling mode for veteran players without heirloom. You will constantly be matched with the same level quests and creatures and the leveling rate will be faster than the easy mode. The hard mode is designed for hardcore players, ideally for players with a lot of item advantage from heirloom items or for players who just want a leveling challenge will always push you ahead to complete the highest level quest possible for your level. The higher level quests and creatures will give you the most experience possible for your character level and I would like to say that this is the fastest leveling mode but the creatures could take longer to kill and more difficult which could slow you down overall if you're not a very good player or you don't have the correct gear. Just remember we didn't call it hard mode for nothing. The different leveling mode will give all players at different skill level the option to level at the rate that they're most comfortable in. Well there you have it, Doogie guys have the most optimized route for power leveling. Getting your character in the correct leveling range is actually basic leveling 1 on 1. And for years, we're the only one that got this right, while other leveling guys are still stuck on easy mode leveling range, which is much slower than our hard mode leveling guide. This is why Doogie leveling guides are the best because we spent a lot of time optimizing our guides. For two years, we offered the best leveling guides for Cataclysm, and now we offer the best leveling guide for Mesa Pandaria. If you want to level the new monk class quickly, you will need our guide. Be prepared to level your monk and purchase our guide during our sales. This is Doogie, and thank you for watching.